The special counsel has spoken. Jack Smith filed to the Supreme Court in response to Donald Trump's claim of presidential immunity in the case related to the former president's effort to overturn the results of the 2020 election. Robert Laguerre joins me now from Washington. So, uh, Robert, this is all very new at the moment, but walk us through the importance of the filings and any uh, key parts of Smith's argument. Hey, yeah, good evening, John. Thanks for having me. So, right, as we're just getting in these filings today, what we're learning is that Jack Smith is sticking to his argument from past, uh, from past legal um, filings and hearings. The special counsel has been arguing that the former president, Donald Trump, is not immune from prosecution, absolutely immune from prosecution, based on his conduct that occurred while he was still in office. The former president filed a motion to dismiss the Jack Smith indictment based right here in D.C. last year to dismiss the case on grounds of presidential immunity, arguing that because the alleged conduct uh, that amounts to efforts to uh, prevent uh, the certification of the Electoral College uh, on January 6th, they basically alleged that um, he is immune, he is immune from that because it occurred while he was president. Uh, Jack Smith has been arguing since then that that is not the case. Uh, in tonight's filing, he reiterates that and says that former presidents are not immune from being criminally charged for official acts that they took as president. So the special counsel is saying that a former president can be charged with crimes related to conduct that, he, that occurred while uh, the president was in office. Now, importantly, the special counsel also says that should the uh, Supreme Court find that the conduct that's alleged here was an official act, excuse me, um, should the uh, Supreme Court find that there is some immunity that can be applied to official acts as president, that would not be applied to this case because, as the special counsel argues, the former president acted as a private citizen in his post-2020 election conduct. Robert Legary in Washington for us. Thank you. Thank you.